Hello, friend. Hello, friend. Shit. It's actually happened. I'm talking to an imaginary person. You're only in my head. We have to remember that. I want you to tell me about your father. My dad was the, the only one I could talk to. We were close. Very close. He was my best friend. But he died. The world is a dangerous place, Elliot. Not because of those who do evil, but because of those who look on and do nothing. Oh, what did make you then? This protection? Something like that. If you're here to protect him, that means he got hurt real bad. His father died when he was eight years old. His mother treated him like her own personal ashtray. He needed someone to help him cope with the world. Voila, you got me. Your dad pushed you out a window? My dad didn't push me. You took your baseball bat and you smashed the window, and then you kept telling dad you were gonna jump. Strained relationship with Mr. Robot keeps us from exploring the root of his condition. Elliot, do you believe Mr. Robot when he says he's here to protect you? Yes. I'm sorry for what I did. I exist for a reason. I always have. It's always been my job to protect him. Your dad, I'm sure he wanted to apologize to him. You miss him, don't you? I actually missed you. When assholes like you come around, I make sure he has someone on his side. I want to be here, Elliot. With you. Do you think Mr. Robot was protecting you from something in that moment? I'm just trying to help you put it all in the rear view. As painlessly as possible. <laughs> you don't have to be angry at yourself anymore. Just let it go. Please, let it go! <laughs> I'm not going anywhere, kiddo. The only reason I'm here is to make sure no one ever hurts you. Whatever happens after this, I want us to keep talking. You know, I can't force you, so I'm asking you.